The largest health care strike in U.S. history enters its second day, the largest health care strike in U.S. history is now in its second day after more than 75,000 Kaiser Permanente workers began walking off the job on Wednesday, the striking employees, who work across California, Colorado, Washington, and Oregon, are represented by a coalition of unions that comprise 40% of Kaiser Permanente's staff. Nearly 200 workers from Kaiser facilities in Virginia and Washington, D.C., joined the picket lines for a single day on Wednesday, as well, the work stoppage is set to end early Saturday morning, but the coalition said it is planning a longer strike in November if a new employment contract is not negotiated by then. In a statement on Wednesday, Hillary Costa, a spokesperson for Kaiser Permanente, said negotiations between the coalition and Kaiser ended without a settlement, but a number of tentative agreements in bargaining have been reached, however, Caroline Lucas, a spokesperson for the union coalition said in a statement Wednesday that frontline healthcare workers are awaiting a meaningful response from Kaiser executives regarding some of our key priorities including safe staffing, outsourcing, protections for incumbent healthcare workers, and fair wages to reduce turnover. Striking workers call acute short staffing dangerous, the union coalition is demanding higher pay among other benefits. Including a strategy to fix a chronic staff shortage that workers say has left them overworked and burnt out, especially in the wake of the pandemic. Employees in a wide array of roles at Kaiser are on strike, including nursing staff, dietary workers, receptionists, lab technicians, and pharmacists, Joanna Isaiah, a ward clerk transcribed